Nokia 56, 10 Express Music Disassembly. You will need the Nokia Standard Toolkit version 2. Unlock and remove the battery cover. Use the SRT6 only for removing the bottom key mat. Insert the SRT6 between the O key and the lower bezel. Gently pry open the clips of the key mat. After releasing all clips, the bottom key mat can be removed easily. Equip your bit holder with a Torx Plus size 4 bit. Unscrew these four screws in the order shown. Discard these screws. Do not use them again. Unlock both clips of the A cover with the SS93. Slightly release the assemblies, beginning at the bottom side. Note that this small flex connector was opened before continuing. Gently twist the upper assembly near to 90 degree. The large flex connector becomes visible. Release it with the SS93. Do not bend the grounding clip. The assemblies can be separated now. Unlock these three plastic clips with the SS-93. Turn the assembly. Gently lift up the bottom key mat support. The bottom dome sheet was glued in at the slide module assembly. Gently release the demesh sheet on both sides. Now the bottom dome sheet can be removed. Remove any adhesive residues from the opponent part. Keep these adhesives clean if this part should be used again. Carefully release the lower bezel assembly from the metal snaps of the slide module assembly. Shift the lower bezel assembly into direction of the threads. It can be lifted up now. Prevent mechanical stress to the Navy slider module while unscrewing the screws. Unscrew these four screws in the order shown. Discard these screws. Do not use them again. Gently release the latches of the A cover on both sides. Lift up and shift open the slide module assembly partly. Slot through the flex foil connector. Carefully bend the A cover on both sides, until the clips of the top key mat support are released. Lift up the top key mat support. Lift up the top PWB. The top key mat assembly can be removed now. Now the Navy slider module can be reached. Gently pull it down, until this large clip was released partly. Now pull it out to release the clip completely. Release the LCD from its ceiling with the SS-93 partly. Lift up the LCD together with the top flex assembly. Gently release the CMOS camera module on the counterpart of the airpiece. Remove the assembly. Partly ease out the airpiece with a dental pick.
Now pull it out with tweezers. Discard it. Do not use it again. Place the assembly on the face of the LCD. Use the SS93 for opening the flex connector. Do not apply pressure at the components underneath. Release the adhesive pads of the top flex assembly, beginning at this edge. Also release the other shown pads. Keep these adhesives clean if this part should be used again. Remove the adhesive residues on the opponent part. Continue with the lower assembly. Use the SS93 for opening the flex connector of the camera flex module. Do not apply pressure at the components while opening the flex connector. Lift out the camera flex module now. Gently unlock this clip of the D cover on both sides of the engine module. Lift out the engine module. Do not touch the delicate microphone. Turn the D cover. Simply let drop out the antenna IHF assembly. Push out the DC jack partly. Now it can be lifted out easily. Lever out the flash assembly. Keep the adhesive clean if this part should be used again. The disassembly procedure is now finished.